What does it mean to truly live your passion? The idea comes across our mind all the time, but do we choose to embrace it or ignore it? For many of us, we might not even have discovered this term on a deep level. For me personally, I'm still trying to figure out what does this mean? There's so many meanings behind it, and that's the thing that I've been trying to figure out for a really long time. But we really have to have hope for so many reasons. We can choose to feel hopeless, we can choose to feel like we want to give up, but the truth is, is that you have to have hope. There's this quote that I go by and it has a deep meaning to what I'm trying to say. And it goes, every morning you have two choices, continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them. The thing that I've realized is that we can spend our life feeling in regret or we can at least say that we tried. I think it's more important to say that you've at least attempted it all than to live in regret knowing that you never even tried at all. And why wait when you can start today? Starting today is probably going to be the only way that you'll actually do it. Of course, it's not going to turn around in 24 hours. It's not going to turn around just like that and do a full 180. But what you can do is start by taking it in small process and you're going to need something sustainable to remind you that you can do this. thing for me to realize this is have a reason that's going to be long lasting rather than chasing things that don't really matter like money, fame, or even trying to get everybody just to like you. If you literally aim for 1% better every day, do you know how much progress that could be in the long term? And that's all you need. No, I'm not trying to say that your true north will be quitting your job and traveling. Of course not, it's not going to be that for everybody. But the thing that I really want to say is that you need to find what you really enjoy, go for it, and try to make a positive impact in any way that you can in your life or in others. Someone had given me the best piece of advice I had heard in a while. To get where you want to go, it's going to take a long time, a lot of discomfort, and a lot of patience because things won't happen overnight. Getting out of your discomfort and chasing your dreams is very similar to weightlifting. And now, might that sound weird, weightlifting and fear is so similar. And the more you try to make that progression, the more easier it becomes. And, and if you part away from that, you'll end up getting back into that place where you're felt behind. You have to develop a healthy relationship with fear because on the other end of the side, discomfort and fear is where you'll find your success. Anyways guys, I just wanna say thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys sometime soon.